Good evening and welcome from North Judson San Pierre High School on tonight's non-conference matchup between the North Judson Blue Jays and your Rochester Zebras here on RTC TV4. This is the first time I've been here this year since they redid the gym, and oh my goodness, does it look amazing. Brand new bleachers, brand new uh, nest up here, uh, brand new scoreboard in the middle, new lighting, new floor. I mean, it looks amazing here at the nest here at North Judson High School, and this ought to be a great contest. Going to get the starting lineups here for both teams for the JV game. Campbell, Bowers, Hook, Fervida, and Medina for your Zebras. McDaniel, Benson, Bow, and Burkett, the starters for the Blue Jays. Again, just getting underway here from North Judson for the junior varsity contest between the Blue Jays and the 2-0 Rochester Zebras. It's going to be a big night here. We've got a lot of stuff going on. It is the salute to service night. There's going to be an induction with about 20 of uh, local uh, young men and women that are going to be uh, taking the pledge to go into the service. Uh, there's going to be another little ceremony that they're going to do. Uh, there's a lot of dignitaries here. Former Boston, the band Boston, former lead singer Kimberly Dom is going to be here singing the national anthem tonight. I mean, just all kinds of stuff going on. There's a quick steal for the Zebras and back to the Blue Jays. So a pair of turnovers to get things started here for both teams. And it continues there with that one going out of bounds. So the Zebras will have the ball. And Campbell gets the Zebras on the board with the bucket. Three-point shot off the back iron. Rebound to the Blue Jays. Baseline three, no good that time for Burkett. Back down the other way, poked out of bounds by the Blue Jays. The Zebras will retain possession. Inbounds pass goes wide. Blue Jays get another turnover here on the Zebras. Yeah. 
Three-pointer, top of the key, way off the mark. Rebound to the Zebras. If you're joining us on Channel 4 in Rochester, welcome. Had this scheduled for a 6.30 start, and we got started a little early here tonight. Just underway, 5.01 here to go, still in the first quarter of the JV contest. So haven't missed much. Rochester leads 2-0. Been uh, about three turnovers apiece for each team, so... Everybody trying to kind of get their footing underneath them. The only bucket of the game is Hunter Campbell's. And there's another turnover on a travel call for the Zebras. They were getting the starting lineups and everything going real quick. Like, we're going to have a lot of time to talk uh, tonight. But a lot of stuff going on here from North Judson tonight. Salute to service night. There's some uh, young men and women that are going to take their induction ceremony pledge uh, to serve in the armed forces uh, another couple other ceremonies going on as well and they've got a, a very special guest Kimberly Dom who is a country singer now but was at one time the lead singer for the group Boston and she's going to be doing the national anthem so a lot of neat stuff here tonight with the uh, North Judson Blue Jays hosting your Rochester Zebras. And I tell you, this gym looks amazing. I just can't get over the renovations that they've done here. Brand new bleachers, brand new floor, brand new scoreboard in the middle of the gym. I mean, just brand new uh, uh, area up here for uh, filming. I mean, just it looks wonderful. And, Big, big uh, kudos to the North Judson, San Pierre uh, school board, high school staff, everybody that made this happen. And Campbell for two more for the Zebras. Makes it a 4-0 lead. He has all four of the points for Rochester. Gavin Young getting ready to check in for Rochester. 5'10 sophomore. Almost a steal, 15-footer is off the mark that time for Benson. Offensive rebound, Benson again, top of the key. Can't get it to go, and it hit the wire, so it's going to be out of bounds off of the Blue Jays. Into the game is Gavin Young. Checking out will be Dylan Hook. The other thing that I didn't mention about the renovations that they've done here that you can probably notice too is brand new lighting. If you've uh, ever been up here at North Judson in the past, the, the floor was kind of dark, the bleachers were kind of dark, and the, the lights were kind of dark. And everything has just completely been redone lighting-wise. Lighter floor, lighter bleachers, and it just looks wonderful. Shot off the mark, rebound, kick out. Three-pointer left wing is long, but getting his own rebound, kicking it out, driving to the bucket is Benson. Not going to be able to put that one in, but he's going to get fouled, and he will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Medina picks up his first foul. And that one's off the back iron. Checking in is Gabe Ellis. He's going to check in for McDaniel. Ellis is a 5'9 junior. Oh for 2 for Benson. North Judson still yet to score here with 226 left in the first quarter.
Three-point bucket, Bowers. into the paint, off the glass, too hard. Rebound to the Blue Jays. Pushing the ball up. That's Ellis, and they're going to say it went out off of his leg, so the Zebras will get the ball back. Number 52, Boyd. Checks in for the Blue Jays, a 6-2 junior into the game for the first time. Gives A.J. Bow a breather. Three-pointer is off the mark for Fervida, but an offensive rebound for the Zebras. And that time, no good. And the rebound to Ellis. Kick out, left wing, three-pointer, no good. And the rebound to Campbell. Campbell tried to push it up ahead to Gavin Young, and the pass was a little too high for Gavin. McDaniel checks back into the game for the Blue Jays. Still no score here for the Blue Jays. Under a minute to go in the first period of the JV contest. That shot is off the mark for Ellis. Rebound pushed up ahead to Bowers. Kicks it back out. Three-pointer left wing is good. Hunter Campbell for three. So Campbell has seven of the ten zebra points here. Or Judson's still looking to get on the board, trailing 10-0 with 15 seconds to go in the quarter. A drive to the bucket, and Benson puts that one in for two. So right before the buzzer, finally the Blue Jays get on the board with a two-pointer from Benson. So after one, it is a eight-point lead for the Rochester Zebras here at North Judson High School. We'll take a quick break, come back with the second quarter in just a moment here on RTC TV 4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not... I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. Back here at North Justin High School after one quarter in the JV contest. Rochester leads North Judson 10-2. Seven by Hunter Campbell, three by Brock Bowers for North Judson. Connor Benson with a two-point bucket right before the buzzer to get them on the board. Going to stay Rochester's ball. Three-pointer off the mark for Young. 
Quickly back the other way, shot off the mark that time for McDaniel, but an offensive rebound for the Blue Jays. Benson can't get that one to go, but he's going to get fouled. Two shots coming up here for the sophomore, Connor Benson. Number 40, Thatcher Samsel, who came in at the quarter break, picks up the foul, 6'2", sophomore for the Zebras. Benson 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Make that 0 for 3 as he misses the first. Luke Malco and Hook back, Malco in, Hook back in for Rochester. And make that 0 for 4 from the free throw line for Connor Benson. Looking inside, and that's going to be a foul from behind on McDaniel. Check that. They're going to give that to Burke at number 50. Oh, nice little pass, but uh, Bowers hadn't reestablished position inbounds after the inbounds pass. So a turnover for the Zebras. Three-pointer left wing is good for McDaniel. That's the lead down to five. Shot off the mark, rebound, and that's going to be blocked, but the foul coming on Burkett. Is the third on Burkett. Gets A.J. Bow up off the bench for the Blue Jays. First free throw is good. Bank is open here late on a Friday evening in North Judson. Second free throw is good as well. So two for two for Dylan Hook from the free throw line. Bowers able to steal that ball away from Boyd. That one is tipped. Hook was trying to get it back out to Malco. Good defense there by the Blue Jays. Drive to the basket, pulling up from 10 is Benson. Shot off the mark. And offensive rebound, but they're going to call a jump. That will be North Judson getting the possession off of the jump ball call. Three-pointer short, and Bowers with the rebound. Bowers out to Hook. Benson tight on Hook. Kicks it over to Campbell. Campbell gets it back in Bowers. Ten-foot shot, a little long for Bowers. Rebound to the Blue Jays. A.J. Bow gets it. North Judson pushes it across the timeline. Sets up their offense. 2-3 zone here for Rochester. Bow kicks it out. Three-pointer is long for Ellis. 
Zebras with the rebound. Campbell pulls up. Three-pointer is long, and it's going to go out of bounds. It will be Blue Jays' ball. Fervida and Medina checking back in for the Zebras. Three forty left here in the first half. JV contest between the Blue Jays and the Zebras. And that bucket good for McDaniel. Three pointer offensive rebound sent back by Bow. Sam Hollum checks back in for the Blue Jays. Boyd will take a seat. Zebras inbounds, baseline left. And they're going to say that Colton Fervita shuffled his feet. Turnover for Rochester. Five-point lead, 12-7. Rochester with the advantage. 3.13 to go here in the first half. And the defense is swarming around Bow in a turnover. Campbell kicks it out to Fervida. Almost poked away that time by McDaniel. And they're going to say that was an over and back, not touched by the Blue Jays. So a turnover for Rochester. Trying to get it inside. Malco gets it, but the steal back by Holm. And then the Rochester foul on Luke Malco. His first team's fourth. AJ Bow will inbounds here on the near sideline. And the Blue Jays will set up their offense. Just a little over two minutes to go here in the first half of the JV contest. Three-pointer top of the key for Ellis. So after taking a 10-0 lead in the first quarter, 10-2 at the quarter break, it's been 10-2 uh, the other way for the Blue Jays, and they are within two of the Zebras. And great job there by Hook stepping into the passing lane, and he takes it all the way, finishes the play for Rochester. Erasing a scoring drought. Hook has four, and the lead is back up to four for the Zebras. Benson kicks it over, left wing, McDaniel. Floater in the paint is good for McDaniel. That's the lead back down to two under a minute to go here in the first half. Daniel has seven points for the Blue Jays here in the first half. Yeah. 
Bauer's shot off the mark. Blue Jays get the rebound, looking to tie or maybe take the lead with a three as we move right towards the half with 13 seconds to go. Coach Spring looking for a play here for the Blue Jays. Got to get something. That one is blocked by Bowers, and that will do it for the first half. Rochester leads 14-12 here at the half in the JV contest. All right, underway here, third quarter action, JV contest. Rochester Zebras at North Judson tonight. Zebras leading 14-12 at the half. Led 10-2 at the end of the first quarter. That was a late two points by Judson. The steal layup no good, but the putback is good for Gabe Ellis. And we are knotted now at 14. Ellis with another rebound opportunity. Can't put that one in, but they're going to say that went out of bounds off of the Zebras. pair of turnovers here to start things off for Rochester. Has North Judson even at 14 with the Zebras. And they're going to say that Ellis did not get back in bounds. Ellis starting the second half here for North Judson was not on the original starting five. Starting five back out on the floor for Rochester. Campbell, Bowers, Hook, Fervida, and Medina. Fervida had Bow on him. Bow goes six foot four. And Fervida, well, he's six foot. I guess just looked. And the charge will be called on that play. Number 50, Burkett, picking up the foul. That is Burkett's fourth foul. So less than um, about a minute eight gone here in the third quarter, and Burkett picks up his fourth personal. Score stays 14 all. shuffled his feet. So another turnover for the Zebras. Hollum checks in for Burkett who has four fouls. Right wing three is long, offensive rebound, kick back, three-pointer, and that time Ellis puts it in. Gives the Blue Jays their first lead of the game. It was off on the first, but Ellis gave it another shot and puts it in. He's got five points here coming out in the third quarter, and the Blue Jays lead 17-14. A.J. Bow picks up the foul. Dylan Hook goes to the free throw line. Two for two is Hook. And he puts the first in. Gavin Young checks in for the Zebras. So 
Second free throw by Hook. Got a uh, Blue Jay player in the lane. Doesn't matter. Hook puts it in anyway. One point Blue Jay lead. Daniel drives. Good job there on the defense. Medina. And nobody touched it. So it's out of bounds off of the Blue Jays. Three-pointer left wing. Medina off the mark. Ball tipped out. Bowers gets the rebound. Zebra's got another opportunity. Now the wraparound attempt there by Young. Quickly back the other way come the Blue Jays. Three-pointer top of the key is good. Number 30, Josiah McDaniel. Daniel now with 10 with that three-pointer. The lead is four for the Blue Jays. And too much body that time for Boyd. That will be his first fourth team foul already here in the third quarter for the Blue Jays. I'm sure Coach Spring doesn't like that. And Hook lost his footing, goes to the ground, and gets called for the travel. Ball back over to the Blue Jays. They have a four-point advantage. Rochester led 10-2 after the first quarter and led 14-12 at the half. And another three by McDaniel. And all of a sudden, the uh, floodgates are opening. Bowers gets the two-point bucket for the Zebras on the other end. And the steal and the foul, Campbell, fifth team foul on the Blue Jays. Sam Hollum picks up the foul, his first fifth team foul. And a 30-second timeout by the Zebras, 2.46 to go here in the third quarter of the JV contest. Blue Jays have the lead, 23-18. Eleven four so far here in the third quarter in favor of the North Judson Blue Jays. So it will be Rochester's ball out of bounds, baseline right coming out of the timeout. The only thing that the Blue Jays have done wrong here in the third quarter is five team fouls. So one more foul before the Zebras have uh, one in the bonus opportunities coming up here early in the second half. Medina, nice move inside, puts it in for two, cuts the lead to three. And there's a steal coming back the other way. Hook comes up with it. Kicks it out into the baseline. Jumper no good for Campbell. That's going to be saved into the Blue Jays' hands. 
And a foul coming on the Zebras. That bucket was the first for the game for Medina. Brock Bowers gets called for the personal, his first, and the first on the team here in the second half. And the free throw woes continue. This time it's Jackson Boyd off on the first. So 0 for 5 from the free throw line. So five fouls and 0 for 5 from the free throw line is about the only thing that's going wrong here for the Blue Jays. And finally put in their first free throw of the evening. One point lead here for the Blue Jays, under two to go. And the floater in the lane is good for Fervida. And I think that one might have been partially blocked. Bowers comes away with the rebound. And stolen by Ellis. Nice move, shot off the mark that time by McDaniel. Another rebound for Bowers. And just inside the line, Medina for two. Zebra's picking up with some pressure. And a shot rolls in for Hollum. Hollum picks up his second, sixth team foul. That'll put Hunter Campbell at the line, shooting two. First attempts from the free throw line for the junior. And he is off on the first. A.J. Bow coming back in for Boyd. Second free throw by Campbell. Eyes it, flies it, and drills it. And another charge called on the Blue Jays. Gavin Young taking the charge. And McDaniel picking up the foul as his first, team seventh, no free throws on the player control foul. Libra's within one, looking to regain the lead. And that one way off the mark by Fervida. And the outlet pass up ahead. Left hand layup is good for Hallam. Fervida way out top. Might have thought the clock was a little bit farther down than it was. And that will do it after three. Judson leads 28-25 over Rochester. So we will take a quick break and come back here with the fourth quarter action from the North Judson San Pierre Blue Jays Nest. JV contest in just a moment here on RTC TV4. It is a three-point lead for the Blue Jays going into the fourth quarter. Three-point 
Three-pointer is off the mark by Ellis. Right wing, three-pointer is good for Campbell. Tying it at 28. Campbell has 11. The runner in the lane by Ellis. Campbell off of the fake, drives to the basket and gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line where he is one of two on the evening. Second on Ellis, eighth team foul on the Blue Jays. Two shot shooting foul coming up here for Hunter Campbell. And he gets the friendly roll on the first. Second is good as well for Campbell. We're knotted up at 30. Ellis all the way to the rim, shot off the mark, but he's going to be going to the free throw line, shooting two for the Blue Jays. First on Hunter Campbell. Only the second team foul on Rochester here in the second half. First trip to the free throw line for the 5'9 junior Hunter, or Gabe Ellis, sorry. Hunter Campbell fouled him. And he's off on the first. One of two from the line for Campbell. Blue Jays back in front by one. Three-pointer off the mark by Medina. Ball goes out of bounds. Off of Rochester, so it'll be Blue Jays ball. Blue Jays is slowing it down a little bit here. Benson drives to the paint, and the layup is good for Connor Benson. Shot off the mark, the rebound to Ellis. Loose ball on the floor. Good hustle there by Young. Gets it back out, Young pulls up from 15. Shot is short. Reverse layup, no good. Offensive rebound, no good for Benson. Loose ball, and again, a great hustle play there by Medina. Back in, and that one is going to be blocked by Bow. Shot off of the mark, rebound, and a foul coming. Only the third team foul. Dylan Hook getting called for his second. Coach Kelly wants a timeout. Will be a 30 with 4.29 to go. Blue Jays leading the Zebras 33-30 here in the JV contest. No, it's a full timeout, so we'll take one with them. 
Be back here in just a moment on RTC TV4. It'll be North Judson's ball here coming out of the timeout. Almost a turnover. Blue Jays able to keep possession. Are they going to look to slow it down here just a little bit? Zebra's still in that 2 3 zone. Drive into the paint. Shot off the mark that time by Benson. Ball on the floor and jump ball will go to the Zebras. So good defense there by the Zebras. Gets the ball back. 4 3 to go here in the fourth quarter. Almost a travel there by Young. And they're going to call a foul. So that will put Medina at the free throw line. That foul on Holum. Holum, sorry. Ethan Medina to the free throw line. First time tonight. And off the back iron and gets the friendly roll. Cuts it to a two-point Blue Jay lead. Second one here for Medina. Off the back iron, no good. And a jump ball that will be the Blue Jays on the possession arrow. Give the Zebras a chance to pick up full court. And a turnover. Back the other way. Hook kicks it up top. Campbell gives out to Bowers. Hook, long three, just long. Rebound, Benson. And the Blue Jays want a timeout. And another full timeout, this time by the Blue Jays. So we will take one and be back here in just a minute from North Judson High School. And back here at North Judson High School, 323 to go in regulation of the JV contest. Blue Jays lead the Rochester Zebras 33-31. The Blue Jay ball coming out of the timeout. Rochester is in the bonus. Blue Jays actually, when the uh, next common foul, Rochester will be in the double bonus. They have not shot one and the bonus, just uh, the way it's worked out with the fouls being on shots. So they will actually go right into double bonus. Three-pointer off the mark. Re weak side rebound by Bow. Driving to the paint, and the, that one was blocked. They're going to call a jump. That will go to the Zebras. Still lots of time left here, 3.05 to go. Just a two-point lead for the Blue Jays. Got lucky to get that one back. Bowers recovers. Medina pulls up from 18, now well, probably 15. Seven for Medina, and we are all knotted at 33. Three-pointer off the mark by Ellis. And jump ball or a foul? Uh, 
And they're going to call the foul on Gavin Young, his first, the team's fourth. We'll give the Blue Jays the ball, baseline left. Benson inbounds, gets it over to Ellis, back up top to Holum. Holum. Benson has it, kicks it over, Hollum. Nothing there. Bow thought about a three, passes it up, kicks it over to Hollum. Shot no good, rebound Medina. Medina slows it up, kicks it over to Bowers. And a foul coming on to number 44, A.J. Bow. That will put Medina at the free throw line with the double bonus. That is the fourth on Hollum. I thought that was on Bow. That was actually called on Hollum. And Medina is off on the first. One for three for the six foot junior, Ethan Medina. Short on the second, but the rebound to the Zebras. Hook able to come away with it. And that's going to be tipped out of bounds by Benson. So Medina 0 for 2, but a great offensive rebound there by Hook. Gives the ball back over to Rochester. And Benson going to get called on the foul. Well, they called it on Gavin Young. Wow, okay. So Young is going to get called on the foul, his second. That's only the fifth team foul on the Zebras. So still another foul to give here for Rochester. 33-33, minute 28 to go here in regulation. Nice look inside, reverse layup. Pretty move by Burkett. Medina short and the rebound to Benson. And a quick foul on the Zebras. That is only the sixth. Third foul on Young. So North Judson will be shooting the one and one on the next foul. Blue Jays lead by two with under a minute to go. Ellis's pass is picked off by Medina. Young has it, kicks it up top to Campbell. Campbell to Hook. Hook drives into the paint and scores from eight feet. Hook's bucket ties us at 35 each. Top of the key, three-pointer short, offensive rebound, no good. We are going to overtime. So Bow and Hook gonna jump it up here. And the overtime starts with the Blue Jays with the ball.
Runner in the paint is no good for McDaniel. Rebound to the Zebras. Bowers brings it across the timeline. Ellis tight on Bowers. Medina, three-pointer right wing off the mark. Rebound on the weak side by Bow. Ellis brings it back across the timeline for the Blue Jays. Kicks it over. McDaniels back up. Top the key. Resets. Benson thought about a three left wing. Rochester still in that 2-3 zone. Benson thought about it again. Kicks it over. Down into the corner. McDaniels kicks it back up to Bow. Benson gets all the way into the paint. Shot off the mark. Gets his own rebound and puts it back in for two. Benson gave himself a second chance with the offensive rebound. Runner is no good for Hook. Rebound to the Blue Jays. Every possession critical, every point critical. Right now, the Blue Jays lead 37-35, minute and a half to go in the overtime period. Good ball movement there by the Blue Jays. Benson resets it up top, gets it over to Ellis. Blue Jays not in a big hurry with the two-point lead. Daniel back up top. Benson gets it to Ellis. They're going to reset. And the foul on Dylan Hook. And that will send Gabe Ellis to the free throw line with the one and the bonus. Third uh, personal on Hook. At the line is Ellis, one of two from the free throw line this evening. And off on the front end of the one and one. Bowers, leaner into the paint. Late whistle, and I think they're going to call Bowers for a charge. That'll be his second, the team's eighth. No shots on the player control foul. So the Blue Jays get the ball back with 47 seconds to go and a two-point lead here in the overtime period. This is just a little bit of a late kind of a half-hearted blow uh, on that whistle there. Kind of made you wonder if he maybe wasn't quite sure on which way he was going to go with that. Zebra's trying to foul, and uh, they're not getting the call. And then Bowers finally is going to foul Ellis. Third on Bowers, and I guess if history shows you anything, maybe that's the guy you want to foul as he is one for three from the free throw line, and he missed the front end of the one and one the last trip. But he puts it in on this one. This is the big one here with 20 seconds to go. Can make it a two possession game for the Blue Jays. And he sinks them both. Four points here for the Blue Jays in the overtime. No points for Rochester. Three pointer off of the mark. And I think Benson. He's hurting. I don't know if he elbow or his shoulder. That foul on Gavin Young. I don't know if Benson's going to be able to shoot these free throws or not.
You know, he seems like maybe he's okay. Might have just been a stinger. And they're going to take Benson out. And they're going to put in Burkett here to shoot the free throws. 8.1 to go here in the overtime period. The two shots here as they are now in the double bonus. And off on the first by Burkett. Burke gets the roll on the second. Three-pointer off the mark. Offensive rebound. Bowers no good. And the Blue Jays win it 40-35 in overtime over the Rochester Zebras here in the JV contest. Blue Jays score all five points in the overtime period. Zebra's not able to score in the overtime period, and the final score is North Judson 40 and Rochester 35. So the JV team drops their first contest of the year. They are 2-1 and one after three games played. Tight so prominently on the base 
represents the unyielding determination for a proper accounting of all of our comrades who are not among us. The candle. The candle is lit, symbolizing the upward reach of their unconquerable spirit. The slice of lemon on the bread plate is there to remind all of us of their bitter fate. There is salt on the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears and all of our tears as we all await for their accounting and return. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us now or be with us. And the chair is empty. They are not here. Remember everyone here. And all of us who served with them and called them comrades, who depended upon their might and aid, and relied upon them, for surely they have not forsaken you. Until the day they come home, let's always remember.
Judson will start it. Ooh, the, the gold on the blue is going to be tough to see tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, the Judson uniforms are loud. Yeah. <laughs> Cox with the basketball to start things out for the Blue Jays. Randy Wynn, Jake Ruff, we're just underway. Now to Allen. Into the middle, they kick it out to Jordan. Jordan will fire a three from the right wing. Off the mark, no good. Hard off the back there, and rebound comes out to the Blue Jays. Three on the way by Allen. Good this time. Yeah, they... They got, a, they got a good, they got him to miss the first, but they got in there and got the rebound. It looked like a push in the back, but they got away with it. And Coach Malco said the Zebras are going to have to be aggressive on the boards and the uh, first offensive rebound, it cost the Zebras three points. Zebras with the basketball. In the corner is Aiden Smith. Smith with the basketball. Goes to the center lane. Now jump stops. Got to get rid of it. Finally does to McLaughlin. Tarek with the basketball. Back out top to Aiden. Aiden, right wing. Aiden. Head fakes, goes to the hole, kicks it out. On the way, Luke Hunting on the 12-foot jumper. Good. 3-2 yeah. Blue Jays. Yeah, good shot there. They got into the middle of the got in the middle of the defense and got a new open jumper. Quickly down the floor of the Blue Jays. Three on the way for Jordan on the left wing. In and out, no good. And Reinhardt's with a rebound for the Zebras. They look to push. McLaughlin comes up the sideline. McLaughlin now brings it back to the middle. McLaughlin now gives it off to Laser. Laser has the basketball right wing. Paul. Little juke kicks it out to Tarek. Tarek will go in the corner. Now he'll kick it back out to Honey. They can bring it back to Laser. Laser left wing. 6.20 to go here in the opening quarter. 3 2 Blue Jays on the uh, Brian Jennings. Brian Jennings. Whew, I knew I was going to say that eventually. <laughs> Jennings insurance scoreboard. Reinhardt's 15 foot jumper. Good. Zebras take a 4 3 lead. Yeah, you know, one thing on the defensive end, the Zebras have been able to force North Judson to shoot three threes to start the game. And with the size advantage, yeah. that's a victory. Six minutes to go here in the first quarter. 4 3 Zebras. Judson has the basketball on the top of the key. Now they bring it out to a Schumacher. Schumacher penetrates in, kicks it back out. Schumacher gets it back on the drive. Schumacher, top of the key, looking. They go into the corner, and that is 40. That's Allen. Allen goes to the hole, reverse layup, up and good, and it's 5-4 now, Blue Jays. Really didn't look like he had much there, and yeah. he was still able to get to the rim. Five and a half to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Laser now out to Reinerts. Reinerts left corner. One dribble. Now he picks up that dribble and gives it off to Honey. Honey back up top to McLaughlin. McLaughlin has the basketball. McLaughlin head fake. Goes around one defender. Down and down another one. Kicks out to Reinerts. Ten-foot jumper on the way. No good, but a foul coming. And Luke Honey going to pick up his first of the contest. That was really, really good job attacking the middle of that defense by uh, Tarek. He, he, got, he got right there, and they got an open shot. Just missed it. 5.17 to go in the first quarter. 5-4 Blue Jays. Randy Wynn, Jake Ruff on the Jennings insurance scoreboard. Zebra's in a little bit of an extended 2-3 zone. McLaughlin will pick him up at about the volleyball line. They dribble down in the corner. Does Judson kick by Reiner to stay with North Judson? They'll have it to inbounds underneath their own basket. Baseline right. Coming up tomorrow night, high school girls basketball as we travel to Walbeich. So hope you can join us tomorrow night for that. About a 7.25 pregame. The lob down low. It goes to Jordan. Jordan throws it off the glass. Oh, excuse me, Wilcox. Lane Wilcox. Wilcox can really get up. He did, he was, too. He was way up there. Leisure with the basketball. 7-4, Blue Jays on top. Now to Smith. Smith will fire a three for the tie. Go. Good. We're Good. knotted at 7 4 40 to go in the first. Good shot. Zebras have seven points, and Tarek and Paul have zero. That's that's a good sign for the Zebras tonight. Jordan with the basketball, swings it right side. Now to Allen. Allen down in the corner. Allen has it down to Cox. Cox will bring it back to the top and reset the Blue Jay offense. That's Schumacher with it. Now to Jordan. They go down low. Tried to go to the give and go, and they throw it out of bounds. Turnover, Blue Jays. Coming into the contest will be Xavier Vance and Bazo. Robert Bazo into the contest. Sitting down will be Luke Hunting and Tanner Reinerts. 4.15 to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. We're tied at seven. Picking up Paul a little bit full court here, but he was able to avoid the pressure easily. Tarek has the basketball. Judson in that man-to-man. -man. Aiden Smith with it. Right wing penetrates, picks it up, and... Throws it out to Tarek. Tarek will drive in. He'll pick it back out to Aiden. Aiden fakes the three steps just inside. Good. Really nice job there by Aiden. Shot fake. Got his defender in the air and knocked it down. 
Zebras take a 9-7 lead. 3.45 to go here in the first. With the basketball is Cox, top of the key. Cox comes to the near side now to Schumacher. They swing it to the right side. Here's a deep three by Allen, and it's no good. Ball's picked up by Jordan. Jordan with a baby hook, up and good. Zebras had that rebound. Two of them collided, yeah. and it went right to Jordan. 3.25 to go. We're back tied at nine. Again, token pressure put on in the backcourt. He was getting it across. McLaughlin has it on the left wing. McLaughlin puts the ball on the floor and then going to be fouled with a reach in. And that's going to be a second on the Blue Jays. And the foul is called on Schumacher. His first team's... Team's first. Team's first. Okay, yep. they were quick on that scoreboard. Into the contest will be number 11, Harper and... I didn't catch the other one that came know. in. Huffman coming in for the Zebras. Laser sits down. Smith inbounds to McLaughlin in the backcourt. Tied at 9, 3-10 to go in the opening quarter. Terry goes left side, picks up his dribble, now gives it off to Aiden Smith on the left wing. Aiden holds. Aiden now has a count and put it on the bat, basketball on the floor. Up top at the volleyball line. Calls for Terry. Terry comes and gets the basketball. Screened by Smith. Terry got blown up on that uh, screen. Blue Jay ran right through him. Terry with the basketball, goes to the hole, kicks it back out to Huffman, and it's stolen. Stolen by Bales. Bales right hand layup up and good. Terry made the right play. It was a weak, it was a yeah. weak pass. Full now court the pressure put on by the Blue Jays. Now they the, get it across. Now the pressure's more than token. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty intense. Down low to Bazo. Bazo back out to Huffman on the left wing. Huffman, two dribbles, goes down low and throws it away. Stolen by the Blue Jays. Quickly ahead to Jordan. Jordan with a dunk. <laughs> it, was a, it was a big time jam. Timeout. Into it. Timeout. Zebras, 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. With 2.07 to go in the first quarter, it's now 13-9. The Blue Jays on a 4-0 run as they, actually a 6-0 uh, run as the Zebras had it 9-7. Give you an opportunity to tell you about Fulton County REMC, making it better tomorrow since 1936. Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, insurance bonds and wealth management with Lawn Hospital, where care and compassion meet. All proud supporters of Zebra basketball all season long. The other thing about this, Jim, it gets very loud with not a lot of people. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's full tonight. And it's, it's full got, tonight. Yeah, it's got a big crowd. It's loud. You know, the thing we talked about is Judson's going to want to push the pace, right? Yeah. And if we turn it over in a live ball turnover situation, that's back-to-back -back runouts they had, and it was a quick four points. Yeah. Zebras have to take care of it. Zebras have the basketball after the 30-second timeout. They'll walk it across to Huffman. Huffman with the basketball. Huffman against Wilcox. Goes left side now to Bazo. Bazo hands it back to Huffman. Huffman left side. Tries to go around a screen and didn't use it very well. And now back to Lazier. Down to Smith. Smith just inside the arc. No good. Rebound comes away to Huffman. Huffman to Smith. Smith turn around. Goes up. Gets his defender up. And it's still blocked by Cox. Picked up by the Blue Jays, and Aiden Smith's going to pick up a reach-around foul. Yeah, unfortunately, Aiden, Aiden got shot blocked. They went the other way, and then it may not have been a foul, but it was, it was retaliation. Yep. It looked like a foul, yeah. so quick one on him. Aiden picks up his first zebra second. Jetson with the basketball. Cox has it. Now he gives it off to Bales. Bales back to Jordan. They go down low. They kick it back out in the corner. Three ball on the way. No good off the top of the backboard. They don't whistle it, and they give it back to Judson. Wilcox shot up. No good. Aiden Smith rips down the rebound. Aiden will bring it across the timeline. Aiden gives on off to Huffman, and Huffman goes to throw it back to Aiden, and Aiden, Aiden was taken off to uh, try to make a move, and I figured Substitution's a hole for the Zebras in McLaughlin, Tarek, or Tanner Reinertz, and Luke Hunting back in. Yeah, yeah, they took they took Tanner or uh, uh, Tarek out at the last time out and yeah. brought Paul back in. And I think Coach Malko is now seeing we're going to have to handle some pressure. Yeah. We need them both out there now. Under a minute to go, 13 to nine here in the opening quarter. 
Blue Jays probably look to hold for one. Usually when I say that, they shoot the ball, so we'll see. That's yeah. Harper with it, and they go down low to Wilcox, and he drives and throws up a shot, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. It's going to be two on hunting. And Coach Malko going right to the back to the bench, and Vance is going to come right back Vance in. Vance going to come back in as Luke Hunting, like you said, with two down. The Zebras with three for a team. Mayton Cox at the free throw line makes the first one. Materna is going to come back in for Cox. At, uh, yep, if he makes the second one. Point, yeah. Aiden Smith will come back in as well, and he'll replace Huffman. 40.8 seconds remain on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 14 to 9 here in the first quarter. Cox, Wilcox, excuse Wilcox, me, has yeah. another one. And it is no good. Rebound comes down to Reinerts. Reinerts to Laser. Laser has the basketball. He'll bring it across the timeline for the Zebras with 34 seconds to go. Now to the left side to McLaughlin. Back to Paul. Paul has it with 28. Now he gets a count from the officials, and they're going to kind of wait around here for the last second shot. 20 seconds remain. Tarek with the basketball. Kicks it back out to Aiden. Now with 15, Coach Malco calls out the play. Yeah, they're going to have to get it, get it organized quick. Paul with the sorts. basketball, nine. Laser with six. Paul around the left side, gives it off to Terry, kicks it out to Aiden Smith. Aiden just in at the free throw line all the way, no good, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. At the end of one, it's the Blue Jays, 14, the Zebras, nine on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with the second quarter after this, you're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Jake Ruff as we get ready to start the second quarter. Zebras have the basketball trailing 14 to 9 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. This Judson team is uh, very physical and uh, this uh, young Rochester team going to have to learn how to handle that as we move forward here tonight. It's a great game to play though yep. leading into the conference season. Yep. It is. Smith with it. Down low to Vance. Vance at the block goes cross court to Laser. Laser three on the way for Paul off the mark. No good. Rebound comes away to Peyton Cox. Good look, though. Yeah. Cox has the basketball, brings it across the timeline, comes to the near side now to Schumacher. Schumacher with it. Back up top now to Allen. Allen comes to the near side now to Cox. He dribbles in and travels. Yeah, Zebras are sitting in that 2 3 zone, and it is the one thing that it is effective at doing is it's keeping yeah. North Judson's offense on the perimeter. Full court press put on now by the Blue Jays. Zebras inbound. Paul has it on the backcourt. Just gonna let a man press. Yes, so it is. Just say let Paul bring it across. Paul does do that. Now they'll get into the zebra offense. Up top now to Smith. Smith with the basketball. Aiden left side. Aiden into the lane. Great Throws move. up a layup. Up no good. Rebound comes away to Allen. Allen with the basketball. Allen now kicks it out to Cox. Cox has it. Cox will reset the Z, or excuse me, the Blue Jay offense. 6.50 to go here before halftime. 14 to 9. Down in the corner. Here is Allen for three. No good. Rebound comes away to Tarek. Tarek then is double teamed. He gets it off to Aiden Smith. Aiden back to Tarek. He'll bring it across the half court line. Tarek. Leaning jumper, no good. Rebound comes away to Allen. One and done for the Zebras right now. A little quick there. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit quick. And a travel on the other side for Bales. And coming back in will be Wilcox, and Bales will sit down. Zebras want another 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here with 6.25 to go here in the second quarter. 14-9 to on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard, a Blue Jays lead. Manitoba Moose Lodge 1107. Come out and enjoy family fun. The Insulation Guys, your hometown certified insulation service provider. Jennings Insurance. In Argus and in Rochester, going beyond the expected for you. Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future. Please recycle. Class Guy Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers. Randy Wynn, Jake Ruff, and uh, rough start for the Zebras. They, they hung with them for the first nine points, and now the Zebras just can't quite get the ball in the hoop. No, but, you know, really the difference in the game to this point has only been the two live ball turnovers at the end of the first quarter where North Judson got the run outs yeah. for the dunk and the layup. Outside of that, it's been an even game. The zone is definitely effective in keeping them away from the basket. Zebras will have it across the way. As they go to inbound and get in that man press, they get it into Laser. 
Lazier has it in the backcourt. He'll bring it across against Materna. Materna turns him around. Now he gives it off to McLaughlin. Tarek with the basketball. Tarek. Right side now to Smith. Smith on the right wing. Down low to Tanner. Reinerts. Reinerts at the block. Turns it back around. Now one dribble and he'll kick it back out to Smith. Never turn to look at the basket. That's no. one thing I don't like about post players that don't at least turn and look. Yeah, at least turn and look or at least put some uh, pressure on the yeah. defense to try to back them down. Laser free throw, line jumper, no good. Rebound comes away to Judson. They look to push. Here's Allen. Allen going coast to coast, throws up a wild shot. He's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two, and Paul's going to pick up his first foul. Yep. Most of uh, Zebras could have called that on is that three or four of them were right there. Yeah, they were. Yeah, uh, Cheyenne Allen does a nice job attacking yeah. for Judson. Uh, Zebras have to get him slowed down in transition, especially off of, a, off of a miss. Free throw misses, and coming back into the contest will be Jordan. Coming out will be Materna. Coming up at halftime, the halftime show brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. Free throw, second one good this time by Allen. 15-9, 5.45 to go here in the second quarter. Zebras need a bucket. Yeah. They do. They need to, they need to stop the momentum. Vance with the basketball. And Xavier has it. Now goes to Tanner. Tanner at the free throw line. This time he turns, squares up, passes it off to Tanner. Or excuse me, Tarek. Yep. Now to Paul. Paul in the corner. Dribbles back out to McLaughlin. Back to Paul. He'll fire a deep three on the way. Good. There you go. That's what they needed. 15-12, 5-18 to go here in the first. The lob down low to Cheyenne. Allen up and no good. Gets his rebound, own, own rebound, up and no good. Second, re second shot is missed, and he knocks it out of bounds. It'll be Zebra basketball. Coach Chisholm wants a 30-second timeout as well. 5-11 to go here in the first half. 15-12, Blue Jays over the Zebras by three. Tomorrow night, the Lady Zebras are in action as they travel to Wabash to get back into the conference. And the Rochester boys are home with Logansport. So uh, you can catch the Logansport-Rochester boys game on RTC TV 4. And you can check the girls game here on Giant FM as uh, we will travel to Wabash and have the girls broadcast for you. So double opportunity. You can uh, turn the TV on, watch the boys, and have the radio on and listen to the girls. Yeah. And, uh, I and make coach. you some popcorn and <laughs> Coke and sit back in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Coach Malco said he's hoping Logansport gets their first win tonight because he doesn't yes. want the hungry berries no, coming no, in. No, yeah, I don't think you do either. Turnover on the inbounds pass. Stolen by Schumacher, and it goes back up and good, and it's 17-12. Full court pressure again by the Blue Jays. This time the Zebras break it a little easier. Reinerts to the hole. Now he kick it back out. Bad pass. Kick by Smith. Picked up by the Blue Jays. To the hole. Layup up and no good. Rebound comes away to Wilcox. Up and good to foul. Again, second, third opportunities for the Blue Jays. Going off of a turnover. Off it's a turnover, yeah. yeah. It's a turnover the other way. That is now eight points. This would be the ninth point off of Rochester turnovers for the Blue Jays. Aiden Smith just picks up his second team fifth. The basket was good by Wilcox. He's got one free throw, and it's good again. And all of a sudden, it's back to an eight-point contest. Yeah. And 20 they, to 12. And, and, and not, nine of those points are off of turnovers. The game, when the Zebras take care of the ball, it's been fine. Paul with a nice pass ahead to Tanner. Reiner just shots blocked. Gets his own rebound. And then it gives it off to Tanner, or to Tarek, and Tarek's going to be fouled. It's one thing when you got... Uh, Defenders that like to block shots, like the Judson, the head ball fake is very important tonight. Yeah, no doubt. And, and the, <laughs> the Zebras are definitely undersized. Yeah. They're going to have to get Judson in the air to get clean looks at the basket. Allen picks up his first team second. Aiden with the basketball, top of the key. Aiden, lean in jumper, throws it up off the nice glass. Job. Good. Good shot fake there by Aiden Smith. Aiden Smith's doing an excellent job playing off two feet tonight and getting looks. 20 to 14, six points lead for the Blue Jays over the Zebras. Blue Jays have the basketball on the far side now. That's Cox, comes back to the near side, and Schumacher, three on the way, no good. The rebound's tipped around and last touched by the Blue Jays. It'll be Zebra basketball. Bazo and Huffman checking back into the contest. Reinerts and Smith will sit down. Also coming in is Materna, and sitting down will be Allen. 
20 to 14 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Zebras trail by six with 4.08 to go before halftime. Inbounds pass comes to Laser. Laser has it down in the corner. Now cross court pass goes off to McLaughlin. Stolen by the Blue Jays. Three on the way by Schumacher. Good. Zebras inbound to McLaughlin. McLaughlin quickly ahead to Bazo. Bazo will fire a three ball. Good. Good answer by Bazo. Zebras needed that badly. Quickly down and a travel on Schumacher as he tried to make the quick pass down into the post. You notice the pace. Yeah. The, the Blue Jays are ready to run. Yeah. They, they are, uh, they are going to try to pick the tempo up significantly. 3.45 to go, 23-17. Laser has the basketball on the inbound. He'll get it across the timeline. Called in his double team. Somebody's got to go to the ball and get open. Last touch by the Blue Jays as Terry tried to go get it. I actually think the Zebras caught a break Coach there. Coach Malco yelling the bounce pass. The Zebra's not doing much of that here in the first half. No, his face is awfully red, too. <laughs> he's, he's very angry right now. Three and a half to go here in the first half. 23-17. McLaughlin has it now on the left side. Picks up his dribble. Off to Hoffman. Huffman with the basketball. Aaron gets it back to Tarek. Tarek top the key. Tarek almost loses it. Picks it back up. Now he'll go to Huffman on the left side. Great man defense by the yes, Blue Jays. Is. They're up in everybody's face. They're not really able. Well, the Zebras are running the offense yeah. behind the volleyball line. Yeah. McLaughlin to the hole, loses it, picked up by the Blue Jays. Got to get them stopped in transition right here. Blue Jays going to the other end, and that is Cox. Throws up a shot, no good. Xavier with a rebound. He gives it off now to Tarek. Huffman did an excellent job there stopping them. Yeah. Stood, stood in there, took the contact. Our Blue Jays threw up a uh, wild shot. Tarek against, that's Cox. Now gives it off to Laser. Kicks it out to Huffman on the left wing. Huffman out to Bazo. Bazo on left side against Jordan. He gives it off to Laser. Laser has it down the left side with 2.25 to go. They're going to give Paul the left side. He goes up, throws up a shot. No good. And the rebound is tipped around. Comes out is Allen. Allen to the other end. Another dunk. Poor Jordan can get up. That is uh, their uh, Coach Stasiak's frustrated with the Zebra's effort there yes. getting back in transition. Tarek with the basketball, picks up his dribble at the free throw line, now goes off to Huffman. 25-17, under two to go here in the half. Aaron Huffman has it tripped away, picks it back up, goes up off the glass, no good. Rebound comes away to Cox. Cox looking to run. Cox, coast to coast, throws up a leaning jumper, no good. Vance with the rebound. Off to Paul. Laser has it. Pulls it back as it's one on three. To Huffman, Huffman, down low to Bazo. Bazo, head fakes, goes back up, no good. Rebound comes to Bazo, no good. Rebounds loose, picked up by Judson. Judson ahead quickly to Wilcox. Wilcox up off the glass, good. Yeah, unfortunately, the pace is really starting to get well, the Zebras out of sorts. And the officials are letting them play, and Judson's yeah. just that much, a little more physical than what the Zebras are. A little older. Yeah. A little bit older. A little, a little bit, older. bit more experience. Ten-point Blue Jay lead with 60 seconds to go here in the half. I don't think I've ever been to North Judson without a, a officiating crew that lets you be physical. Tarek with the basketball, top the key. Tarek goes to the hole, jump, stops, kicks it back out to Laser. Laser has it with 45. Now to Huffman. Huffman, right side. Kicks it back out. Looking now. Gives there it to Bazo on the give there and go, go up and good. Nice job, Bazo. Bazo did a great job of cutting to the great hole. Great cut. It was a great cut. 27-19. Faked out and went back door. Great cut by Bazo. And the feeling Judson's going to look to hold for the last shot with 25 on the clock. Holding it is Schumacher. Zebra. Zebra's in that 2-3. They're, they're going to let him. Yep. Zebras are content letting them hold. They give it off to Cox, and now Judson will get everything set up with 15. Cox on the right side. Back to Schumacher. Schumacher, deep three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound picked up by Lazier. That could Quick, have, uh, or excuse me, Huffman to Lazier. Lazier at the buzzer. No good. And that's going to do it for the first half. At halftime on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. 
27-19, the Blue Jays over the Zebras. Time for halftime, being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. Back with more after this, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Spaced out a little bit, but when both go to the 22, you kind of got to find a few of those uh, overlapping games. The other thing, too, is we had those board girl double headers that ended up getting split. Yeah. And that, that forced them to find different dates. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of stinks, but we all we all got to deal with it. Blue Jays start with the basketball. They go down low, and it's tipped around by the Zebras. Now picked up by North Judson. Wilcox goes up with it. No good. And Aiden Smith comes away with a rebound. Good rebound to start the half with Good a stop. Good defense stop, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Laser with a basketball for the Zebras. Top of the key at the volleyball line. Zebras look to uh, start things out. Paul has it. Now he has it count. He'll back it back out. He'll go to Aiden Smith. Smith left wing to Luke Hunting. Hunting thought Paul was cutting one way, and it ended up going another. And it's going to be thrown out of bounds by the Zebras. Turnover, Rochester. Yeah, that at, at least, if you're going to find a silver lining in turnover, it wasn't a live ball. They can at least get set and not have, you know, Judson go down and dunk it or lay it in. Zebra's in that 2-3 again. And the starting lineups back in for both teams. The original five for each team, that is. Allen with it. Allen leads it off to Jordan. Now down in the corner to Schumacher. His three on the way, no good. Reinerts with the rebound. Reinerts. Going to bring it up himself. Yep. He'll have to because nobody else was there and Tanner was, or uh, Tarek was guarded. Laser with the basketball now on the right side. Paul will pull up for a three just off the mark. No good. Rebound comes away to Cox. Cox with it across the timeline. Comes to the near side now to Schumacher. Schumacher tries to go down low and he gets at the end and stripped away by the Zebras. Yeah, nice job there by Aiden Smith. Three trips down the floor for the Blue Jays and uh, no points. No points. Good start and, and, for the and one and done. Yeah. One and done. Smith with the basketball. Smith has it right side on the wing. Puts it on the floor. Now he picks up that dribble and he goes back door to Lazier. Lazier throws up a shot that's going to be blocked out of bounds by Cox. And it'll stay with Zebras underneath their own basket. Makes line right. Laser made a good backdoor cut, but they got they were able to cut off the baseline, yeah. and it, he was stuck. Schumacher comes out, comes in as Bales. 6.23 to go here in the third, 27-19. Paul looked inbound. Looking, looking. He's going to have to hurry up. There it is. Five second counts. Turnover against the, uh, against the Zebras. Yeah, it seemed quick, but you know they, they weren't they weren't going anywhere at yeah. that point. Yeah, got to got to execute. Can't turn it over. Still 27-19, 6:15 to go here in the third. A three ball on the way for Allen. Way off the mark, no good, and the ball is loose. And I jinxed this, Randy. I said no jump balls in the first half, and there and it now is. Now we have one in the second half. There it is, and it goes to the Zebras as Judson has it to start, and Lord Judson going to put full court pressure pressure on. Yeah, let's face it, their best offense tonight has been in transition, so they're going to try to speed the Zebras up. Zebras need to answer here uh, with a bucket without turning the ball, or and not turn the ball over here. Tarek in the corner, double teamed, he gets it off to Paul. Paul bring it across the timeline. Laser on the left side. Laser, and then it's going to be fouled. Peyton Cox? Yep. Yep. His first team first of the half, and Bazo in. Reinert sits down. Paul will inbound. Slaps the basketball, sets things in motion. Now to Aiden Smith in the left corner. Aiden gives it back to Bazo. Top of key now to Laser. To Aiden Smith, left wing. Aiden, one dribble, picks it up. Back to Paul. Paul drives in, jump stops, kicks it out to Aiden. Aiden, ball fake. He'll dribble it back out. Hesitation dribble. Goes into the lane. Jump stops. Can't find anything to do with it. Now it gives it off to Bazo. Bazo then is stripped by Allen. Allen then is stripped by Aiden Smith. Tarek McLaughlin picks it up. McLaughlin has it. Right side now to Laser. McLaughlin, or Laser, excuse me, and another jump ball. I get it, Randy. And they usually say there's no broadcaster's jinx, but you have proved us wrong yeah, once again. Yeah, I, I did that myself. Harper in and sitting down will be Bales. 
Zebras are doing a much better job this half rebounding. Um, they've, they've forced the Blue Jays into tough shots and been able to clean it up and send it the other way. Still 27-19. Neither team has scored. Almost three minutes gone by here in the third quarter. Down in the corner is Cox. Cox with the basketball. Top side now to Jordan. Jordan swings it left side. Down low to Jordan. Jordan on the cut. Up and good off the glass. Yeah, great, great cut there by Jordan. Easy layup. Zebras just give him a little bump maybe on that cut, yeah. and he's not there in time to catch the pass. But they don't, and they get it to the first two of the, first ha- or the second half. Bazo for three at the other end. Good. Hunting. hunting. Oh, that is hunting. Yep. Excuse me. Hunting. They look hunting. alike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, were, they and both they, have a two. They both. That's all I saw yeah, was a two. Yeah, they both have a two. My apologies. Luke <laughs> Hunting with three, and it's 29-22. Quickly into Jordan. He goes down low, and that is to Wilcox. No good. Gets his own rebound. No good. Rebound again. No good. This time comes way to Hunting. Hunting with the basketball. Now it's stolen. Allen, the other end, dunks it as well. Again, transition. Transition turnover leads to a dunk. Third one of the night for the Jays. McLaughlin around the screen by Smith. Has the pass knocked out of bounds. It will be another turnover, and the Zebras want a timeout. This will be a 60 31 22 with 3.59 to go here in the third. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. At North Judson High School after the Zebra timeout, Bazo now into the game with Hunting, and they Smith, Paul Lazier, and Terry McLaughlin on the floor for the Zebras. 3.59 to go here in the third. Now 31-22. Blue Jays lead it on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Randy Wynn, Jake Ruff, glad you could join us here tonight. Down in the corner, it goes to Wilcox. Now they swing it back up top. Wilcox, the back door, tips it in. Schumacher with the pass and almost overthrew him, but great job by Wilcox to go up and get it. Zebras get it in transition. Down on the other end, and it goes right through Hunting's hands and another turnover. It's a 14th turnover for the Zebras. It is starting to it is starting to pile on. Materna comes back into the contest. Jordan will sit down. 3.32 to go. Zebras down 11, and the Zebras will switch it up. And they'll go into a 1-3-1. Yeah, 1-3-1. One, one, one. They're going to try to put some pressure up top. Down in the corner. Now it's Judson. They swing it to the far side. Throws up a shot. Does Schumacher. No good. Ball's tipped around and uh, tipped in. By Wilcox. And they're going to give it to Wilcox on uh, the tip. That could have been a zebra that tipped that in. Tarek gets it into Laser. Laser with the basketball. Laser has his pass stolen and... Wilcox was going for the dunk, and Laser got a nice hand on the ball, tipped it away, but he also got a little body. And the foul will be on Laser. And Wilcox will go to the line to shoot two. 35 22. Two on the way for Wilcox. First one's good. Huffman in, and Paul will sit down with two fouls. Zebras are starting to show some frustration out there. They need to they need to settle down and uh, try to claw their way back into this game. The Jets and pressures are uh, causing a lot of problems right now. And the other thing is, too, the Zebras staring down their passes a little bit. Noon right where they were going with those, and Judson's telegraphing them. Second free throw is good as well. McLaughlin's double teamed. Aiden now comes to the help, and he has the basketball. Smith double teamed at the timeline, and his pass is stolen. Wilcox again, quickly ahead to Schumacher, up and good. This game has officially gotten away from the Zebras. 39-22, McLaughlin now with the basketball, ahead to Bazo, layup up and good. Good transition bucket there from Bazo, running the floor well, good pass by Tarek. Zebras down at 1-3-1. To the top down with Cox. Cox with the basketball, goes left side to Schumacher. Into the middle, they swing it. Now they bring it back up top to Schumer, or excuse me, that is Cox. Back over to Harper. Harper holds on the right side, back to Cox. Now they go over the top to Schumacher on the left wing. To Wilcox, is shot up, no good. McLaughlin with the rebound. Tarek, then his triple teamed at the free throw, or at the half court line. He gets it down to Bazo. 
Bazos in the corner to McLaughlin. Tarek penetrates out to Aiden. Three on the way. No good. Quickly with a nice rebound is the Blue Jays. And a foul coming on the Zebras. Aaron Huffman going to pick it up as he was riding the Blue Jays all the way down. And a couple substitutions for the Blue Jays coming in will be Jordan and Bales. And for the Zebras will be Reinerts and Laser. Sitting down for the Zebras will be McLaughlin and Bazo. Yeah. 39-24. I think the same thing this, this quarter. It's been it's been all about the turnover. Zebras now turned it over yeah. 16 times this game. That is very out of character for them. And that was one thing Coach Malco mentioned in the pregame. He was not happy with, uh, what was it, 12 or 14 they had against Winnemac. So they need yep. to be down in the eights category. So they've doubled what he uh, what he thinks they should have already. Yeah, part of it's the North Judson right. defense. I mean, they're pressuring and they're they're speeding the Zebras up. And a young team, this is this is good for them. Blue Jays have it. They're passing around out top. Now they give it back off to Mat Materna. Down low to that is Wilcox again, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Wilcox has been extremely disruptive this quarter. He is uh, he's playing extremely well. He's playing like a senior. Yeah, <laughs> and. Yeah, I mean, he looks, he looks great. Wilcox will go back to the line to shoot two. 39-24. First free throw short off the front of the iron. Xavier Vance checking back in, and Luke Henning will sit down. Also back in for North Judson will be 24, Cox. Looks like he's going to come in for Wilcox if he hits this one. 111 here in the third. Free throws good by Will Cox, and Peyton Cox will come in for him. Well, as great as the North Miami lead was at halftime, it was 21 14 North Miami at halftime on the girls' side. It's now 38 24 at the end of three, Tip Canoe Valley. That is a massive run. Yeah. Zebras get it into Smith in the corner. Aiden is double teamed. Aiden trying to step through. They did get Hoffman. They got to hurry up and get it across. They get it. Huffman gets it off to Laser. Ooh, Laser. Nope. Did not get it. It's 10 second violation. And Jordan will inbound after the turnover. 40 24. Keepers back in the other well, plane. They went man. Yep. They're man to man. Wilco, excuse me, that's Cox with the basketball. Comes to the near side now to Bales. Bales holds into Wilcox. Or excuse me, Schumacher. Yep. His jerseys, with those gold numbers. And we're going to have another jump ball. Our fourth of the half. <laughs> 38 seconds to go, and it'll be Zebra basketball. Everybody can thank me for that. 40 to 24 here in the fourth, third quarter. Excuse me. 16-point lead for the Blue Jays. Aiden Smith on the far side will get it into Laser. Laser has it on the corner. Asking him to clear out. Yep, it's just a man press, yep. so Paul will bring it across himself. And it goes off to Aiden Smith on the right side with 30 seconds to go here in the third. Aiden against Schumacher. Aiden, good hit and ball Great fake. Stop, Great man. step through, goes up for the reverse layup, up and good. Two more for Aiden Smith. 17 seconds remaining. Zebras again in that man. Final 13 seconds. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, Judson's going to hold for the last shot or at least attempt to. Bales goes down out of Cox. Cox has it stolen by Reinerts. Reinerts quickly ahead then to Huffman. Huffman at the buzzer. Good. Big shot. Three at the buzzer and at the end of the third quarter. Zebra's trail, 40 to 29. Back with the fourth quarter after this. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Good response. Three-pointer 
by Aaron Huffman. Really kept the Zebras in that quarter. Yeah, they lost the quarter by three, and as I told you off the air, it felt, it felt worse than that. Yeah. So, yeah, good response and good finish of the quarter. Quick 5-0 run by the Zebras. 40-29 to 29 as we start the fourth quarter. It'll be Judson basketball. Randy Wynn, Jake Rupp, glad you could join us here tonight from North Judson High School. Zebras attempting to put pressure on in man-to-man. Top the keys, Jordan. Now they go off to Cox, his running jumper. Up and good off the glass, 42-29. Three guys on the one side of the floor for Judson. Zebras didn't look the opposite side. And now they do, and Tarek with the basketball. Now top the key to Laser. Laser has it around Schumacher. Back to Smith. Smith, top of the key. 7.20 to go here in the fourth. Down low to Reiner. The pass was at his feet. That's going to be the last touch by North Judson. It will stay with the Blue Jays. Yeah, made the right play there. Threw it at his feet. No. And he, he acknowledged it said, my bad. Uh, didn't cost the possession. Reinert has it. They swing it to the far side. Now to Laser. Laser has it right side. Trying to go down low to Vance, and they can't get it to him, so they'll swing it to the near side. Out to Aiden Smith. Aiden with the basketball. Down low to Tanner. Tanner travels. Oh, oh they're, they're going to call a foul. Call a foul. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Absolutely. 42-29. Cheyenne Allen. Seven minutes exactly left here in the fourth quarter. Cheyenne Allen's second foul. Laser gets it into McLaughlin. McLaughlin in the corner. Has to dribble back out. Tarek against Schumacher. Schumacher really guards. Yeah. He really guards. Smith in the corner. Smith in his foul. No call. The ball's loose and picked up by the Blue Jays. Blue Jays have it. They're, yeah, they're going to spread the Zebras out. Six and a half to go here in the fourth. Left side now, Will Cox. He gives it off to Jordan. Jordan will fire a three from the left wing. No good, and it'll go out of bounds. I, Zebra basketball. I can't imagine that's the shot Coach Cheesham wanted him to take there. Uh, no, no, I think he's, he's getting yeah, an earful. Yeah, he's getting an earful now. That, <laughs> up, up 13, and you're chucking a 25-footer. Uh, Quick, not ideal. Zebras will inbound. They get it into Laser. He's double teamed quickly on the inbound pass. They get it off opposite now to McLaughlin. Tarek goes to the free throw line, pulls up, and can't do anything with it. Now he'll get to Laser. Laser with it on the left wing. Down in the corner now to Smith. Smith goes into Reiner, yeah. and he's going to be fouled. It's going to be the team fourth. Nelson Jordan picking up his first. Excuse me, team third. My apologies. Scoreboard's too quick. It is. <laughs> they are on it. Smith with the basketball on the inbound pass. Smith will dribble back up to the top of the key. Set the Zebra offense under six to go. Aiden down low to Vance. Vance at the block. Head fake. Goes up off the glass too hard. And Jordan with the rebound. Jordan then has it tipped from Reinhardt. Vance picks it up, but right into the hands of Schumacher. Coach Cheeson says, spread, spread it out. out. Yep, spread them out. They're going to try to get stuff at the basket or burn time. Will Cox at the blocks, up and good. Will Cox has played a really good second half. Uh, he's He's been very assertive, and he's gotten what he's wanted inside. Tarek McLaughlin with the basketball. He's double teamed down low and tries to dribble out of it, and he's going to be fouled. That'll be the team fourth. And it goes Cheyenne again. Allen. Materna, Materna coming back in. I'm guessing he's going to get Cheyenne. Yeah. He is. Yep. Zebras will inbound. Laser slams the basketball, starts things in motion. Gets it into Vance. Vance 10 footer, flat footed, but got to bounce. Yeah, and use the backboard. 44 nice 31. Again, Coach Chesham says, spread it out. Zebra's in that man. Coming to the near side to Materna. Materna with it. Now top the key to Jordan. I bet he didn't shoot it from there. And he no. does it. He goes to the hole, though. He traveled. He travels. Yep. And I'm going to guess he'll get replaced as Coach Chisholm. Nope, he's just going to take a timeout. I would guess this is going to be targeted towards Kelson Jordan. 
And it's 60 second timeout. It is 44 31 here in the fourth quarter. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. The North Judson timeout. It'll be Zebra Basketball underneath the Blue Jay basket. Zebras have to go the distance. 4.58 to go here in the contest. Zebras trail 44 31. Randy Wynn, Jake Ruff, glad you could join us here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Huffman has the inbounds pass. Huffman. We'll give it off to McLaughlin. He'll cross the timeline. McLaughlin loses it, but right in the hands of Huffman. Free throw line jumper, good. Aaron Huffman's got two more, and it's 44-33. Aaron Huffman's done a nice job tonight. Again, Coach Chisholm says spread it out. Yeah, he can't be pleased that the, the lead is shrinking and they're trying to burn clock. Uh, it, it's actually been as, uh, you know, as least effective as they've looked all night. Now with the basketball is Cox. Cox right in front of the Judson bench. Cox will dribble back to the middle. Cox goes left side now to Jordan. Jordan comes to Schumacher with the volleyball line. Now back over to Cox. Top of the key to Materna. Materna with the basketball left side to Schumacher. Four minutes to go here in the contest. This possession is more of what Coach uh, Cheesem's looking for. Yeah. They're burning clock and uh, not having much trouble doing it. Well, when, you, you, when your big man doesn't take a three, 25 feet Correct. away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ill-advised three. And then travel. And then travel the next time. Yeah. Materna with it. Now he gives it off to Cox. Cox on the left side. Back over to Wilcox. Wilcox with the basketball. Now to Jordan. Right wing. Back up top to Materna. Coach Malco changing up the defense. Yes, and they're going to add more pressure. Yep. Yep. And double teamed as the goes the ball goes to the corner. Schumacher has it. Now gives it off to Cox. Ball's kicked down low and stolen by the Zebras. Oh, threw it right away. Uh, and the ball's loose and packed back up by North Judson. Yeah, great hustle play. Just yeah. to, it, it got away from him when they were uh, trying to get it up off the floor. Into the corner. And kick it back out to Materna. Materna brings it back up top to Cox. This possession's now gone to Jordan. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan has it blocked by Vance, picked up by North Judson. Jordan, that was the uh, the third time he's he's ended the the possession. He's going to get an earful. And that foul coming on Xavier Vance, but a great job blocking it. But the second one, he couldn't, and he got a little body as it'll be Materna, the six three junior, going to the free throw line. Coach Jason just told him we don't we don't need anything that that's questionable. Three subs in for the Zebras, and that is Hunting, Smith, and Lazier back in. Vance, McLaughlin, and Reinert sits down. 2:51 to go here in the contest. 45-33. Materna second free throws good. 46-33. 13 point now lead for the Blue Jays. Smith with the basketball. Aiden. One. We'll bring it across the timeline. Smith then looking, looking, can't find anybody open. Finally finds Huffman. Huffman top of the key. Aaron goes right side. Now brings it back to the near side. Zebra's got to speed up. To Lazier. Lazier. Now to Smith. 225 to go here in the fourth. Down 13, yep. and Aiden's going to be fouled. And should be Cox. That'll be yep. ball out of bounds. It's going to be. It's going to be Peyton Cox, a second foul. Team fifth, 46-33. They get it in to Hunting. Hunting with the basketball. Top the key to Huffman. Back to Lazier. Lazier has it. Top the key to Huffman. Huffman at the volleyball line. Huffman picks up his dribble. He's going to fight to hurry. Finally finds Lazier, and it's tipped by North Judson. Last touch. As touched by the Blue Jays. It'll stay with the Zebras right in front of the scoring table. 2.05 to go here in the contest. The Zebras are having trouble getting getting into any offense quickly. Yeah, yeah this has been a, a almost a one-minute possession for the Zs now. We got a they need a bucket down 13. Two minutes to go. Laser with the basketball on top of the key. Ball has it. At the volleyball line, the right side now to Hunting. Hunting with the basketball on the right wing. 
to Bazo. Bazo left side. Bazo kicks it out to Huffman. Now to Luke. Luke has it. Luke holds. Ball, ball stuck on the perimeter. Yeah. Yeah, just not, not able laser. to get into the middle. Bazo will fire three from the corner. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Blue Jays and Coach Malco. It's waving the white sale substitutions. Yep. Hunter Campbell, Brock Bowers. Uh, let's see. Also coming in is Evan Elliott and Ethan Medina. Yep. And they get it in to Bazo. Bazo goes up. No good. Rebound comes away to North Judson. Down the floor goes North Judson. Up is Schumacher. Misses the layup. Up no good. Last touch by Schumacher. It'll be Zebra basketball. And the same thing is there. That's what, why? You know? Yeah. A 13 point lead. That's what Zebra's Coach yeah. saying. What, yeah, what? Zebra's waved the white towel. Why? And now the Zebras will bring it across. Bowers with it. Bowers with the basketball to Campbell. Campbell has it left wing to Medina. Medina has it, looking, picks his dribble up, now gives it off to Campbell. Hunter tries to go down low to Elliott, tipped by the Blue Jays. Coach Cheesem says, bring it out, under a minute to go. They'll walk it across. Coach Malco says, come out and get him, don't let him just hold the basketball. Yeah, and Cox has it. If the pressure doesn't yeah. get more severe than this, it'll, it'll be the last possession of the game. Wilcox with the basketball. Wilcox against Medina. Now he'll, put, he'll dribble the basketball. I don't know why all of a sudden. A little bit of static now. Cox with the basketball. Yeah, this. You know, 20 though, seconds, and that's going to do it. And, and honestly, a 13-point loss against this North Judson team. I mean, you know, you never want losses, but this, this team's talented, and the Zebras competed. It came down to too many possessions that ended with a turnover. Yeah. Um, but they're going to grow from it. This is a this is a tough place to play, and they'll they'll be better uh, served uh, for playing this game. 46-33, your final here tonight on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. The Blue Jays defeat the Zebras. Again, final 46-33. When we come back, we'll have the post-game show being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard, 46-33, the Judson Blue Jays over the Rochester Zebras. Back with more after this, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4.